angry guy here, and black mothers are warning black women that they will not let them use their sons. Black mothers are warning black women that they will not let them use their sons. Guys, I want you to check out this video because this is something I said that was going to ultimately end up having to happen. Fathers were going to need to start talking to their sons. But now you have mothers, mothers warning their sons. And I did say that this would happen. Not as, on, as not on the same scale as men, but it's just going to start happening. And that was beginning to happen. I said this years ago, that women were going to begin weighing the cost and benefit because most women do not warn their sons about the behavior of women in society. But now when it's getting to the point where mothers have to basically make a decision, either I tell my son what female nature is or I lose my son, they're going to have to start stepping up, especially when they see what women are looking like in society. When they watch, because these, are, these, are, these mothers are young. These women are in their 40s now. You have to think about this. You have women in their 40s and 50s now. This is Gen X. This is Gen X. All right? And they're having sons. And they're looking at this and they're saying, no, they're, they're watching these videos and they're saying, no, not my son. Not my son. I'm not going to allow a woman to treat my son this way. And I'm not going to let my son get into a relationship with this. Not my son. I'm going to put on a video for you, and I'm going to let you guys watch this, and I want you to see exactly what's happening. I, I couldn't even love somebody that couldn't do nothing for me. I'd be disgusted every time I go home and look at them. You broke, motherfucker. You be, can't do nothing for me. I'm struggling. You over here looking at me like you want some. No, I'm turned off. Period. Bye. <laughs> Can't do it. It doesn't work for me. Let me do this special announcement from my son that he don't know about, but yeah, it's coming from him. It's a special announcement through his mother. Um, my son will never, ever be paying any of y'all daughter's rent, electricity bill, um, phone bill, or any of that type of shit while he's dating your daughters. You understand? Because the expectation is that when your daughter reaches womanhood, you would have prepared her to be a woman and be able to take care of her damn self, okay? There are stages of development. You come in this world as a girl, you develop into a woman, you hopefully become a wife and then a mother. And when you become a wife, yeah, that's when your husband hopefully will be the provider and take care of everything in terms of that household and all that kind of stuff. And that's exactly what I'm raising my son to be prepared to do. But if you might think that my son, while he's a, a man in manhood, if y'all think that my son is going to be walking around here dating women and paying their damn rents and everything else like he's somebody's gump, you must be crazy. And the only way he would do it is if his father got into him and told him, hey, if they want to be treated like tricks, trick they you understand? And I don't want them to have to be like that. But know this, you better be telling your daughters that if they out here talking trick language, they're going to attract tricks. A lot of these moms today, they are not even thinking about their son's dating life. I'm glad I see the needle moving from this because I grew up back in the day where a lot of moms raised their sons to be simps, raised their sons to put women on a pedestal. I've talked about this multiple times, guys. Women, a lot of women raise their, condition their sons to end up be, becoming these types of providers in society because they don't want to tell their sons, you know, listen, son, mom was, you know, mom was out here doing these things. Mom was in the club. Mom was out in the streets. This is how mom got your dad. Your dad, you know, th this is, you know, this is the type of thing. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to fess up to it, but it's getting so bad that these women are realizing, nah, this, this, ain't, this isn't happening in my house. This is not happening in my house. You're not bringing her home. Mm -mm. You're not bringing her home to my house. All right. You are not dating her. You are not having a relationship with her. This is cutting that out because they have two choices. They could either lose their sons, or they can watch it, or they can watch their sons leave. Because that's what's happening right now. Because what 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 us men, a lot of us men, did not realize is the extent to which women have been taking advantage of us. 
and women have been using us. This is the reason why women are shaming the password bros so much, all right? The reason why they're shaming the men who've already left. Why are they doing this? Because they're not, they're not going after the men who've already left. They're going after the men who have not left yet. They're going after the orbiters. Women have all these orbiters around them. And they use these orbiters to buy them food, to pay their rent, to pay their phone bill, to subsidize their living. When they have a problem, oh, my computer is not working. They have an orbiter for that. Okay? When they don't have any money, they have a, in their pocket, they have a couple of different orbiters that they can shake for some money. And these orbiters aren't getting nothing from them. They are not getting anything from them. So they can shake these orbiters and they'll say, hey, you want to come over? Yeah, I'm hungry. Why don't you bring a pizza? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Guys, I, I was dating this. Well, I wouldn't say dating. I was seeing this chick. And she tried to use me to buy food for her. And she was, this was a, this woman was a cardiac nurse. She was making more money than me. She was, this is where it's crazy. She was a cardiac nurse. She was definitely making way more money than me. And she was trying to use me to buy her food. Like, this is crazy. Like, bro, you are out earning me. All right? And you know what the funniest thing is? I had a, I lived, I was living in a nicer house than her. I had a, I drove a nicer car than her. Okay? I was physically in way better shape than she was. Okay? And she was trying, and, and, and it's just like, and she was trying to shake me down to provide for her. Like, what? Buy your own food. Like, she was going to come over and spend the night, but she wanted me to feed her. Like, bro, why don't you eat before you come? And I even suggested that. And then she started listing off all the different things that she wanted me to buy her. What? Dude, you're making good money. You're not even in a relationship. Like, like, seriously, she was living with a roommate. Okay? She was not even living on her own. She was living with a roommate. So I'm doing the math, and, I, and she had no kids. So I'm doing the math, and I'm thinking, bro, you're not, you can't be paying that much for rent. Because I know where we live. I know what the rent was like in that area. You know, it's not going to cost more than this. You're living with a roommate, so your rent's going to be even lower. What are you talking about, bro? Okay, because you're making way more money than I am, and you're trying to, you're trying to basically squeeze me to pay for your meals. And I, I don't get that. You know, it's one thing me taking you like I, I take I took you on a date, I fed you, but you want me to literally before you come over, before you you know when you come over you want me to also you're staying the night you're coming over to stay the night, and you want me to feed you when you get here. Men don't realize just how bad it is. Guys are starting to just beginning to put the pieces together. Like we don't even real we don't realize how the average woman uses men in society. There are stories on the internet. I talk about how a lot there are there are women who they literally specify like this is TR, this is this is uh Trina. And what Trina does is she doesn't even buy groceries anymore. She literally schedules diff different dates for every day of the week so that she doesn't have to buy groceries. So she goes out to eat every day of the week. She gets taken to a nice restaurant every day of the week. She has no interest in these guys. She has no interest in having a relationship with them. So what these guys are doing is they are providing food and entertainment for her every single evening. Every evening. So she goes out to eat Every evening, she does not pay for groceries. So she saves money. So, and, and a woman who would do something like that, you have you better believe that she's having men also pay for her phone bill and pay her rent and pay for everything else. These are the same girls that have a wish list, an Amazon wish list attached that are, they have an Amazon wish list, right? And 
you know, they right that's that's on their Instagram. So you go to their Instagram and they have a link to their link tree where that has all the different links to their social different social media platforms. And one of those are the platforms that they're on. And one of those is Amazon. And you can click on it and they'll have all kinds of stuff on there. Like I literally saw a girl who was moving to a new place and she literally had she had she had an Amazon wish list of all the different appliances and different things that she needed for her home. She wanted different guys to go and purchase, oh, purchase my bedroom set, purchase my microwave, purchase my dishwasher. She want, she had all the different things that she wanted to be for her home, purchase my couch. And she literally went on there and listed everything on her wish list. And she was waiting for guys to buy her everything off that wish list. This is this is modern day society. And when and, and when women see men walking away, because they're like, oh my gosh, these are the same guys that would be orbiting me and that I would be extracting wealth from. I would have this guy to do this and this guy to do that. This guy pays this bill, this guy pays that bill. This guy buys me food. You know, you have to keep them in, and then you basically circle through the cycle through them as you need them. When I'm lonely and I feel like hanging out with someone, I'll call this guy. He'll take me to the movies, buy me popcorn, be there for me. When I feel, you know, if something happens and my car breaks down, I'm gonna call this guy. He's gonna come, he's gonna take, he's gonna change my tire for me. If nobody else will pick up, I know this guy will pick up. Oh, something's wrong with my uh ele my electrical wiring. I'm gonna call this guy. This is how they this is how they roll. This is how they roll. Trick language don't attract um, respectful men. And a lot of people have to understand that. You want to say, ain't no man like this, ain't no man. Well, who's you talking? What you looking for? If you looking for somebody to meet you after the first week and pay your damn bills, guess what? I've met, you know, I've been with an NFL player that didn't do that or for the first week. You know, folks ain't stupid out here, smart. Now here's where guys notice this is she's not special. She is not special, but she realizes that either she has to step in or she's gonna lose her son to streets to these to, to, to chicks that come to these to these to these women. All right. She said that I was with an NFL player. Men as men, we don't realize the kinds of women that women that, that, that men the kinds of men that women date. A lot of times you'll date this girl, you don't realize that she's been with different, she's been with NBA players, she's been with celebrities, she's been with all these different dudes that you will never have any idea, and she will never tell you. Because it was literally a one night thing. It was a hookup, all right? She hooked up with all these famous people, all these celebrities, and now she's making you wait months before anything can even happen. Because you are a plan B guy. Are individuals, but yet yeah, desperate men, you know, are, but is that what you want? You know, so just for the record, man, ain't nobody, ain't nobody son taking care of your daughter when she in womanhood, when it's, she's supposed to be out here able to establish herself and pay for herself. And a lot of cultures, that's why when them girls hit womanhood, they don't leave their parents' house until they hit wife because the father is still responsible for them girls until they hit wife. You must, with your sprinkle sprinkle, think that while your daughter is out here supposed to be women taking care of themselves, that our sons are supposed to be taking care of them. Nah, you skipping a step, baby. So if, if that's the case, keep your damn daughters home with you until they do find husbands. Because my son will not be taking care of their ass while he's dating them, okay? Who wants a woman that's a damn charity case <laughs> and can't pay for her own nails or anything like that? He will definitely be giving her gifts and everything. But now nah, we ain't doing charity, son. We ain't dealing with no needy ass women or men around. That's really the only time I see women kind of so-called portray the sisterhood and straight up speak on facts about you know how women really are is when it comes to their sons i got a homeboy who told me about how when he was younger his mom saw him down and told him how pretty much how dangerous and evil women can be totally ruined him when he was younger but she kept it real with him and told him you know you got to be careful out here with these women told him how evil evil they can be 
all right? And she said, he said, totally ruined him. But it saved him. It saved him. Because a lot of dudes go into the world and they don't know anything. I watch just pearly things sometimes. And she, and one thing that she likes to say, she says sometimes is that, you know, a lot of guys don't understand that women are spiteful. And women can, and women will, they will spite you for a long time. They will take something and they will keep it going just out of anger and scorn. You know, there's a saying like, there's like, there's a saying that hell has no fury like a woman scorned. There's a reason for that. A woman will destroy, a woman will tear apart a man's life, even if it tears apart her own life, just out of her, out of her fury. <sighs> Guys. This is the world around us. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please, please, please go ahead. Subscribe to the channel if you already have it. Turn on notifications. Never miss another video again. And like the video because you're telling YouTube you want to see more of my videos. And they'll show you more of my videos. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you right now. What do you think about this? Black mothers are warning black women that they will not let them use their sons. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.